Uh, at Atinong Entertainment, itong si Brother Larry Kudal, under the microscope, ano ang pagkakaiba ng baboy sa beef? So, paano relasyon nito sa health reform ng STI? Ay, maganda yung tanong ni, ni uh, Brother Larry Kudal. Under the microscope, anong pagkakaiba daw ng baboy sa beef? Yan madalas na sinasabi ng mga Adventists. Ang baboy, napakarumi niyan. In fact, isa yan sa mga sinasabi ni Dog Batchenor. Binabasa na rito yung Consumer's Report. Sabi niya, sa Consumer's Report, binabanggit doon na ang baboy daw, pag tinignan mo sa microscope, marami. Ayan o. Pork chops and ground pork contaminated with bacteria. We found antibiotic resistant bacteria and traces of veterinary drug. Kaya sabi ni Dr. Batchelor, itong baboy ay napakarami. Kaya hindi daw dapat kainin. Yung Yersinia enter, enterocolotica was in 69% of the tasted pork samples. Kaya therefore, sabi ni Bachelor, eh, marami ang baboy, huwag dapat kakainin. Pero alam nyo, kung mapapanood nyo itong video, hindi pinasa ni Bachelor sa screen kung anong tinatap, sinasabi talaga nitong consumer report. Although yes, contaminated ang, ang karne ng baboy, pero ito hindi binasa ni Bachelor, babasahin ko sa inyo, mga kaibigan. Mga Adventists laging bias pag magmase. Gusto lang nila, pabor sa kanila. Dito rin sa parehong reference na binasa ni Dog Bachelor, Consumer Report, hindi nila binasa ito. Sabi rito, did you know, years ago, trichinosis was the main fear about eating pork But the risk from that parasite was largely eradicated by changes in industry practices. Legislation banned the feeding of certain raw foods to hogs and public awareness of the risk of eating undercooked meat. Ayan. Nung ako yung Adventist, pag nag-de-lecture ako tungkol sa pagkain ng baboy, Lagi kong pinapakita ito sa screen na, oh, ito, may tichinosis. Ang tichinosis, kahit anong init po yan, hindi na mamatay yung, yung, yung larva na yan. At yan ay pumapasok sa katawan, kaya sumasakit ang tiyan, masakit ang ulo, yan sasabi nila. Hanggang ngayon, marinig niya sa mga Adventist na hindi updated sa kanilang health lecture. Pero hindi sila updated. Dito rin sa consumer report na pinapakita ni Dog Bachelor, Years ago, oo, oh, oh, totoo, tichinosis was the main fear about eating pork. Nakakatakot talaga yan. Pero, yung risk daw, itong update na hindi babasahin sa inyo ng mga Adventists. But the risk from that parasite on tichinosis was largely eradicated by changes in the industry practices. O, oh, yung sinasabi nyo yung tichinosis sa uh, baboy, Huwag niyo nang sabihin yan ulit. Hindi yan ngayon ang panibagong update. Dahil largely eradicated na yan. Dahil sa pagbabago sa industry at mga practices kung paano alagaan ng mga baboy ngayon. Kaya hindi na po dangerous yung tichinosis. In fact, uh, marami mga parang dito at uh, talagang kung di detalye, mahaba ito. Dito din sa consumer's report na sinasabi ni Dog Bachelor sa bandang huli, sa concluding page, sinasabi niya kung anong pwedeng gawin. What can you can do? These steps can help you minimize the risk of foodborne illness or discourage the routine use of antibiotics in agriculture. Ah, when cooking pork, use a meat thermometer. As with other meats, keep raw pork and its juices separate from other foods. Ah, wash your hands thoroughly after handling raw meat and choose pork and other meat products that were raised without drugs. Oh, hindi naman din niskali sa pagkain ng baboy ah. Ngayon, paano yung ano? Yung microscopic. Alin ba pagkakaiba ng baboy at beef? Ah, ay, wala akong pagkakaiba pagdating sa microscopic. Pareho lang ho. Dito rin sa consumer's report na binasa ni Dog Bachelor noong December 21, 2015. 
How safe is your ground beef? Tingnan nyo ha. Dito nyo makikita napaka-biased ang mga Adventists talaga. If you don't know how the ground beef you eat was raised, you may be putting yourself at high risk of illness from dangerous bacteria. The appetite persists despite solid evidence including new test results here at Consumer Reports that ground beef can make you seriously sick. Oh, pagka malidang paraan, pagluluto mo ng beef, eh, dangerous din, may dangerous bacteria yun eh. Contaminated din yan. Kaya kung malalabasin nyo lang, ang baka, hindi contaminated at baboy lang, false advertising ang ginagawa nyo. Kaya yan, binibrainless nyo sa mga Adventists. Ang baboy, marami, marami bacteria. Ay, ang beef din eh. Ayon din sa consumer reports. Pati manok, dangerous. Chicken. Dangerous contaminated chicken. 97% of the breast we tested harbored bacteria that could make you sick. Ay, paano yan? Pati chicken. Ah, kaya ngayon yung mga Adventists eh, popromote nila, oh, mag-meditarian lang kayo. Ha? Meditarian lang kayo. Pipilitin kayo mag-meditarian. In fact, hindi nila sinasabi sa inyo kung anong advantage ng pagkain ng pork. Dito sa isang website na WebMD, prestigious, well-known, reliable website about health worldwide, itong WebMD. Pork, is it good for you? Ano po ang sinasabi rito? Though you may have heard it called the other white meat, pork is considered red meat. It's consumed worldwide though it is against the laws of some religions including Islam and Judaism to eat pork. As a red meat, pork has a reputation for being unhealthy. However, pork is a good source of certain nutrients as well as high-quality protein. Consumed in moderation, it can make good addition to health diet. Bakit kanyo? Pork is a good source of protein, niacin, vitamin B6 and 12, iron, and zinc. Pork is also a good source of vitamins and minerals like phosphorus, elenium, and thiamine. Pork is actually richer in thiamine, a B vitamin required for a range of bodily function than other red meats like beef and lamb. Vitamins B6 and B12, also found abundantly in pork, are essential for blood cell formation and brain function. Pork is also an excellent source of iron. The thing that the hermy iron found in red meats is absorbed very easily by the human digestive system. Yan yan ang pag-report. Hindi parang kulto na itatago nyo yung tama. Yun lang gusto nyong pakita sa tao ang ipapakita nyo. That is false advertising. Masama. May false agenda kayo. Kaya yan po ang tanong sa ating brother Larry. So, anong relasyon nito sa health reform ng EDE? Wala. Negosyo. Negosyo. Lumalakas ang negosyo, negosyo ng mga mga nagtitinda ng mga vegetarian. Bid, bid, <laughs> hindi naman masama ng vegetarian. Hindi kami naman masama. Kaya lang, para ipromote yung vegetarian at siraan at sirain ang kung ano talagang ang status ng meat sa harap ng mga tao sasabihin nyo kung anong masama na hindi balanse eh. dyan nagiging masama nagiging sakin po ang mga tao